So hello guys, today is Tuesday and we have a new job. We have L7 with power supply failure or damage or a spark. You see here, it's a MOSFET damage. Why is this one happening? Due to the power supply issue. The high spark from the power supply, main power supply, it will detect the damage of the MOSFET. So, what we have here, it's a, uh, the MOSFET number is 3603 PMT. And I have also the spare part for MOSFET, but this one, the MOSFET, it's for the power supply, not for the hash board, but I don't care, I care about if any channel or the P channel. It's different. Uh, the voltage, let's let's check the PDF. The, the MOSFET uh, for the L7 is VS360GPMT. It's, uh, it's a three vo uh, 30 volts and 200 ampere. And here we have a drain force gate. In any channel, okay, this is any channel. When we have a gate, when we have voltage in the gate, the voltage it passes from the drain to source. But vice versa in the P channel, it's from source to drain. And what I have with the spare part, I have the QN3109 and 6 m Which one? This. Also, it will work because it's an any channel and the same concept. Same, we have a drain source gates. When we have voltage on the gates, the drain, the volt when we have voltage in the gates, it's uh, the, the, the voltage it passes from the drain to source, which is working at the switch. Actually, a, a, a MOSFET is a switch, so we can we can use we can use the same one. But first, I can see from here uh, we have a problem or we have issue with pads because this one is explosion. The pads the the pads under the MOSFET maybe it's damaged. So we will continue on this board. I left. I have. I was have a work uh, urgent uh, job. So we'll do something. Maybe no one do like this before. I heated this MOSFET like 30 minutes or 40 minutes, and I cannot move any MOSFET. It's damaged and it's stuck on the hash board. In this case, maybe we cannot do anything. The hash board it will be failure and no fix. But how can we remove a MOSFET and this MOSFET I can remove by using hammer <laughs> and I will put like this okay and I will put on the MOSFET so I can remove till now I removed the two MOSFET okay two MOSFET and it's it's looking good these two MOSFET and it's looking good without any removing of the pads the pads are good I will continue on the three MOSFET and everything. If, if, if everything is good, then we can repair this hash board. Okay, come on, please help me. Put your hand. Okay, as we can see here, 
We have now still three MOSFET. Don't try this at home. So here, as we can see, the pads after remove the MOSFET, still here under the MOSFET, it's a metal. And now, second way to remove this one, we will put the solider. We remove the last part. As we can see here, we have still the parts all normal. All good. Now we need to use this one and hot, uh, hot air. 